that time of year when everybody wants to get organized. I am a big fan of decluttering. If you know me at all, I'm all about the decluttering, okay? But I'm gonna give you five ways to just overall have a neater, more under control house this year. If you will implement these things, they're gonna make a big difference. Don't think I'm oversimplifying. Oh my word, if you know me, I don't oversimplify. I'm Dana K. White of eslobchemsclean.com. I am also the author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life. Decluttering, it's everything. And how to manage your home without losing your mind. This goes into a whole lot of detail on a whole lot of these things, okay? So I'm gonna give you five super duper easy ways to make a really big impact on how neat your home is. This is all based on a blog post that I did a couple of years ago, but years ago, years ago, but I wanted to share it with you guys here on YouTube. Okay. All right. I'm going to link to that post and that'll have links to all kinds of things. If you're going, wait, I need to wrap my brain around this. All right. Okay. Number one, can you guess what I'm going to say? If you know me at all, you already know what I'm going to say, right? Do your dishes, do your dishes. If you cannot focus on anything else, if the thought of the overall process of getting your house under control just completely freaks you out and overwhelms you, just repeat to yourself, do the dishes, do the dishes, do the dishes. I am telling you, if you will focus on that one thing, you're going to be shocked at the impact it has on your home. If your kitchen is consistently out of control and you're like, I don't know why, do the dishes. I'm just telling you, I know this from my own experience in my own home. I go into ridiculous detail on this one, which is also an audiobook, just so you know. And don't forget, dishes math is a real thing. So even though the first day might take you a really long time, let's say a couple of hours, to get your dishes done, that is not doing the dishes. That is catching up on doing the dishes. If you will focus on doing the dishes every single day, no matter what, that second day, it's going to be ridiculous how much less time you have to spend doing the dishes. One day's worth of dishes is like 10 minutes. Two days worth of dishes is like an hour because then you're having to shift things around and you're not able to just fill up the dishwasher or fill up a sink full of hot water to do your hand washing. Okay. One day's worth of dishes, 10 minutes, two days worth of dishes, an hour, three days worth of dishes, hours. That's dishes math. Okay. If you don't believe me, test it. Do your dishes today, do them again tomorrow, do them again the next day. I'm telling you, you will not believe the impact that it has on your house. Okay. If nothing else, do the dishes. Everybody got that? Okay. Number two, reduce the flow of paper coming into your house. Make it your thing this year, starting right now with every bill that comes in, with every advertisement that comes in, just glance at it really quickly and see if there is a way to go digital. Um, or a way to opt out if it's something you don't need at all. Okay. But find that on the mail that's coming into your house and just reduce it. You probably won't be able to completely eliminate it, but I am telling you, you can make a huge impact just by reducing the amount of paper that comes into your home. Okay. Got it. All right. Number three, declutter your dishes until they all fit inside the cabinets that you have. Okay. Some of y'all are going to go, are you kidding me? Who would have more dishes than fits inside their cabinet? <laughs> Does it make any sense? This is not the channel for you. I'm telling you. Okay. Declutter your dishes until you get to the point where you only have what will fit inside of your cabinets. Now, let me explain that a lot of times you might not have the concept down until you have worked on the first thing I talked about, which is doing your dishes. I did not understand that because they were rarely all clean at the same time. And so I, until I started focusing so hard on doing the dishes. And once I got to the point where they were clean at the same time, all the time, I realized, yeah, I have way more than will fit in my cabinets. I had known that from those rare times when I got all of my dishes done that, well, then I don't have room for them everywhere. Okay. Anyway, Declutter dishes. There is something about how these two things work together. Declutter dishes and doing the dishes. 
when you do the dishes consistently and they're all clean consistently, you're going to see the ones that you gravitate toward every single night with your family. The ones that your kids use again and again, because they're always clean now before you didn't have the opportunity to know which ones were your favorites. But now you're like, Oh, well, yeah, we always grab that set of plates and then it's going to easily help you be able to let go of those ones that were your last resort before. Okay. It's also, as you do the dishes, you're going to gain the confidence that it really is possible to have enough, enough dishes without having all of those that you've had forever. Okay. Because the problem was I used to not do the dishes and think I needed more dishes. And then I would buy more dishes and I didn't have to do the dishes as often because I had more dishes to use. And then because I didn't do the dishes as often, I would, the mess would be even more overwhelming. And then I would wait and put off actually doing the dishes. And then I would run out of dishes and think I needed more. It, they go together. I'm telling you those two things. That's crazy how much they go together. Declutter dishes. Go ahead and do that today. One thing it will do is it will force you to do your dishes because you're going to run out. I promise you'll survive. Focus on doing the dishes. Work on those two habits. If you just cannot declutter dishes, focus on doing the dishes and it will change your mindset. It totally did for me. Okay. Number four. Um, do y'all wish I had those little fancy four? Maybe I should just do that. Four. Um, number four, store your food containers with the lids on. This is a game changer. I'm telling you what, it's against everything organizing in the whole entire world. It's totally against, it's totally against it. And everybody's, you know, they're like, until they switch to my way and then they're like, oh my word, this makes such a huge difference. Anyway, but people are like, well, but you can't fit as many that way. Guess what? One of my problems was, um, I never had too few of anything basically ever, especially in my kitchen. Okay. So when I store my food containers with the lids on, I can't have as many. That's a good thing for me. It forces me to not have as many. Do you know what it also does? It means that every time I reach into my food storage container cabinet, I just have one little thing to grab. I don't have to search for lids. I don't have to search for the pieces that match each other. I just reach in there and I grab it and it's complete all by itself. Just make sure it's super dry before you close it up. Okay. Um, but when I do that, I've limited how much I can have. It's super easy to reach in there and it keeps the space under control so much more because a big part of my problem was I would go searching and I would have to do like this, you know, I mean, sort of being dramatic, sort of not, but I would have to be searching through to find the two pieces that I found. And guess what? I didn't feel like doing in that moment when I was trying to put some leftover spaghetti away, I didn't feel like reorganizing my cabinet. And every time I would have to pull things out to find the pieces that matched, I didn't want to put everything back super neatly. So I would shove it all in there. And that's how that mess just perpetuated itself. I am telling you when I started, I'm trying to smell when I started, storing my food storage containers with the lids on. It, it's like, it was so, so much easier. It just works really well for me. If you love the whole going in there and matching up pieces and having a neat little system, that is exactly what you should be doing. If your food storage container, no matter how many different things you've tried is just an avalanche waiting to happen. When you open that cabinet door, try my way. Okay. I'm telling you it will make a big difference. All right. I'll create videos on a lot of these things on their own later on. Okay. All right. Number five, create a donate spot. You're going to declutter this year, right? You're going to get my course or you're going to get my book or you're going to get both, right? Or you're just going to watch my videos, whatever, just declutter. I don't care how you do it, but getting into the mindset that decluttering is a constant and it's going to go on for the rest of my life. Even if I get my house decluttered, never going to happen. But if it did happen, I would still have to keep decluttering to keep it from getting cluttered again, because you know, life, if I create a donate spot, it is a place where I immediately can go to put anything that 
finishes its purpose in my home. That sounds really poetic, but really it's just a great thing that I've always got a place to go to put something that is done being used in my house. Do you know what it else? Oh, mm, do you know what else it does? Um, it's a place for my kids to put things. It's a place for my husband, husband to put things. If they say, I don't think I need this anymore, put it in the donate spot. And something about having that donate spot also starts to change our mindset as a family. It really worked, has worked this way for us over the years. We've really changed into a get rid of it kind of family as opposed to why don't we keep it? <laughs> it's like, no, there's a donate spot. That's what that's for. It's always there, it's always accessible, and we've always got a place to just put things. And it just somehow makes us be in a decluttering mindset on a regular basis. Okay, so that's five things. I'm gonna share five more in the next video, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss that one. I hope you guys have a super neater year this year um, and make sure you go and explore all of the links for all of these different things that I've talked about over on my blog. Okay, talk to you guys later, bye.